Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to another edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. Yet again, there's a lot to discuss. Tons of cards going up in value, much like we saw last week. So again, I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible through the cards today. Maybe not go into as much detail as I normally do, but there's a lot to get through. So in that spirit, without any further ado, let's get into it. We're going to begin, as we always do, looking at standard in your top 11 standard legal cards that have lost value this week. Number 11 is Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath, down 25 cents to 44.97. So this card is seeing a little bit of retraction. It's not due to lack of play, though. If you look at this early standard season, even though, of course, that's mostly being played online, this is in a lot of decks. Bant Midram, Team of Reclamation, Saltai Midrange, Simic Flash, and more. Pioneer, it's in a big deck there. Saltai Delirium and other decks in that format. Modern, it's in Snowblade, another huge deck. And, of course, other decks there, too. Sees Legacy play as well. So you might ask yourself, why is this losing value, even if it is just a little bit of value? Well, just mostly because a lot of packs are open of Theris Beyond Death. Not only your regular draft boosters, but also those collector boosters, which did produce a lot of these cards that are in the marketplace right now. Number 10 is Steam Vents. The original one from Guild Pact goes down 26 cents to $20. It's good to take a look at the original printings of cards sometimes. They are indicators of what some of the other printings will be doing soon. If you look at your 2020 Challenger deck, Allied Fires, you're going to find one copy of the Guilds of Ravnica version of this card in it, and that's why this one is soft. This is still doing well, though, in standard. Jeskai Fires builds, Teamer Reclamation, Teamer Adventures. Also sees Pioneer and Modern Play, too. Number 9 is Rankle Master of Pranks, down 26 cents to 568. Percentage-wise, as we move into this new standard season, this card is seeing less play. Occasionally, maybe like a quarter of the time, you'll find one copy of this in Recto Sacrifice, which is a popular deck. But that's not really enough to move the price up at all. This is still in Mono Black Aggro, but those decks haven't seen a ton of play yet this season. In Pioneer, you'll find this in Mono Black Aggro, and sometimes there is a copy in Mono Black Vampire sideboards too. Number eight is Shifting Ceratops, down 27 cents to $1.23. This continues to see sideboard play this season in Standard. Also does get play in Pioneer and even Legacy, but there were three copies of this in the Flash of Ferocity 2020 Challenger deck. Number 7 is Embercleave, down 41 cents to 1071, and yet again, this is a card that you can find in one of the 2020 Challenger decks. There's one copy of this in Cavalcade Charge. In Standard, though, it's currently seeing play in Mono Red Aggro and Gruel Aggro and some other decks. Pioneer, it's in Mono Red Aggro and Gruel Aggro there as well, and it even sees a little modern play. Number 6 is Godless Shrine from Guild Pack, down 43 cents to 1552, and the Ravnica Allegiance copy of this card can be found in the Knight's Charge Brawl deck, which is why this one has been soft. Continues the sea play in Standard Pioneer and Modern, though. Number 5 is Corvold Fake Curse King. This goes down 47 cents to 928. This is the non-foil copy, but the foil copy can be found in the Savage Hunger Brawl deck, which, again, a lot of those have been circulated. When it comes to the amount of play this card is getting in Standard, Junt Sacrifice is still hanging around, but you see a lot more people right now playing Racto Sacrifice, which does not include this card. I will say, though, this does continue to be a good Brawl and Commander card. Number four is Absorb, the original one from Invasion, going down 49 cents to 7.94. Azorius Control still plays this card in Standard and is still doing well. This also does see a little Pioneer play, but not as much Pioneer play as it was seeing, and I think that's why the card has softened up. Number three is Blood Crypt. This is the one from Dissension. It goes down 50 cents to 22.75. Now there's another copy of this card going up, which we're going to see in a few moments, and I think that's due to the strong start that Racto Sacrifice is having so far in the Standard environment. Now, of course, this sees play not only in Standard, but also Pioneer and Modern, too. Number two is Brazen Borrower, down 91 cents to $15. This continues to drop, again, a card that sees a lot of play, but you can find one copy of this in the Flash of Ferocity Challenger deck, which is why it is soft. Now, as for Standard, this is in Jeskai Fires, Teamer Reclamation, Teamer Adventure, Simic, and Teamer Flash, and more. Modern, this is in Grixis Wurza and other decks there, and it sees Legacy play as well. Number one is Breeding Pool. The original from Dissension goes down $1.01 to $33.99. It's retracting a little after some recent spikes, but the card is seeing a lot of play. It's in some huge decks early on in Standard. Bant Midramp, Teamer Reclamation, Teamer Adventure, Saltai Midrange, Pioneer, Saltai Delirium is wildly popular, plus there's other decks that will run this. Modern Bant Snowblade, another really popular deck, and you'll find it in a lot of other decks in that format too. All right, let's move on to the top nine standard legal cards that have gained value this week. And even though people aren't playing a lot of paper standard right now, you still have folks thinking about decks they want to build when things get back to normal. They might be ordering some cards because they don't want those prices to go up during the in-between time. 
You also might have situations where speculators are picking up cards that are performing well on Magic Online because they think they might be able to sell them for more later. So let's see what's going on. Number nine is Hydroid Crisis of 65 cents to 1968. When it comes to standard, this card feels like it's back in a big way. Bant mid ramp, Saltai mid range, Simic and Teamer flash, they all run this and others do too. Number eight is Blood Crypt. Here's that other Blood Crypt I promised you. This is the one from Return to Ravnica. It's going up 67 cents to 1496. Number seven is Sacred Foundry from Guilds of Ravnica. It goes up 69 cents to 1085. You'll find this currently in Jeskai Fires builds, Jeskai Control, and more in the standard format. Pioneer and Modern both have burn decks with this in the mana base, and there's more, of course, in those formats as well. Number six is Leyline of the Void from Guild Pact, up 77 cents to 1802. This is going to see at least a little bit of sideboard play, every format where it is legal. Number five is Twin Blade Paladin, up 81 cents to 454. You're not going to find this in the booster packs of Corset 2020. Where you will find this, though, is the Corset 2020 Ajani Inspiring Leader Planeswalker deck. There's three copies of this card there. And this is actually a pretty good Brawl and Commander card. There's a lot of people building life gain decks right now, really ever since Theros Beyond Death came out, bringing us things like Heliod and Daxos and some of the other cards in that set that care about life gain. Since then, this card has been pretty hot. Number four is Temple Garden from Ravnica City of Guilds. It goes up 81 cents to 1505. Another card that is seeing a fair amount of play right now in the standard format and mana bases of decks like Bant Midramp and Gyruda. Other decks beyond those two as well. Pioneer, this is in Bant Spirits and other decks there too. Modern, another card you'll find in the Bant Snowblade mana base. And of course, you'll find it in other places in that format as well. Number three is Agent of Treachery, up 96 cents to 550, and this is in the very popular Bant Mid Ramp deck, which is driving the price here more than anything. This also has seen increased commander play as well, though, because of the new Thassa that came out recently, and also, even more recently, Yorian Sky Nomad. This also got a mention in one of the professor's videos on Tolarian Community College this week. So much like last week, I'm not going to spend a lot of time in this video mentioning the cards that did show up in either the professor's videos, or the Command Zone podcast, or other places. Just know that yet again, there's a lot of cards moving up that were mentioned in different media. Number two is Smothering Tithe. This goes up 251 to 1414. Fantastic commander card here. Even though there's a copy of this in the Fairy Schemes Brawl deck, the card is still going up in value. Just goes to show you how much in demand this card is among commander and brawl players. Number one, we saw one breeding pool going down. We see this cheaper one going up a little bit. This is the one from Ravnica Allegiance. It goes up 266 to 2799. Okay, let's move on to the Pioneer format, and we'll look at the top six Pioneer legal cards that have lost value this week. Coming in at number six is Athreos Got a Passage. It goes down 52 cents to 1341. This was recently reprinted in two places, one of the Theros Stargazing Secret Layers, and also in Mystery Boosters. That's why it's going down right now, but it is a solid Commander card. Number five is Chandra Torture Defiance, down 52 cents to 1644. And this might surprise you at first glance because the card is performing pretty well in Pioneer. This is in Mono Red Aggro and some other decks there. Modern, it's in the very popular Gruel Midrange deck, which has been performing really well on Magic Online. And it's also in other places there too. But we know this is actually going to be reprinted soon. There's going to be a copy of this in the upcoming signature spellbook, Chandra. Now that was supposed to come out in June. We haven't heard if that's going to be delayed yet or not. But regardless, the incoming reprint has made this go down a little bit. Number four is Supreme Verdict, Iconic Masters down 65 cents to 1001, Return to Ravnica down 76 cents to $11. This is another card that was reprinted in Mystery Boosters, so that's why it is soft right now, but it is seeing a lot of play. You'll find this in Lotus Breach and more in Pioneer. Modern, it's in Bant Snowblade, Niv to Light, and other decks there. Sees Legacy play too, and it's a huge commander card. Number three, Liliana, The Last Hope, down 92 cents to 39.05. This card's just not seeing barely any Pioneer play. And the reason it was going up recently is because a lot of people anticipated that it was going to see some Pioneer play. So now you're seeing some of those increases back off a little bit. It does see Modern Legacy and Vintage play, though, to some degree, so it's not going to lose all its value. Number two, Kalidas Trader of Get down $1.01 to $26.54. Now, this is actually in some good decks, like Salte Delirium, Mono Black Aggro. Sometimes Demir Inverter and more in the format even sees Modern play. But this recently has been increasing in value relatively rapidly, so it's not too surprising to see some retraction. Number one is another popular commander card. It's Perforos God of the Forge, but this is the one from Mystery Boosters. It's going down $1.21 to 1704 after a couple of weeks of some increases. So in addition to the reprint that you see here, this was also recently reprinted in one of the Theros Stargazing Secret Layers. 
All right, let's move on to your top six Pioneer legal cards that have gained value this week. Coming in at number six is Mox Amber. It goes up $1.63 to twenty two eleven. This does see a little Pioneer play, but now in Modern, you're going to find this in Grixis Wars and Artifact Breach, so that's why it's going up a little bit this week. In Commander, it's also seen some increased play ever since Emery Lurker of the Lock came out. Number five, Zakama Primal Calamity. It goes up $1.66 to $25. Another Commander card here. Get used to seeing that because as we go through this video, most of the cards that are climbing are climbing because of Commander. Now, this is good if you want to play fair with it. Also good if you want to create some loops with this card as well in the Commander format. Number four is Alenda the Dusk Rose, up $1.91 to $13.64. So this is seeing some more play right now in Commander due to some new cards, things like Fiend Artisan, Aerie Ultimatum, Death's Oasis. All of those are from Ikoria. Also in Commander, this plays well with the Mutate mechanic. Number three, Aurelia the War Leader. This is the one from the Guilds of Ravnica Boros Guild Kit. It can only be found in foil. It goes up two forty eight this week to nineteen forty two. This is seeing a little increased commander play because Iroa's Got a Victory was recently reprinted in one of the Theros Stargazing Secret Layers. This is also another good mutate target though. Number two, Emrakul, the promised end of four hundred four to forty one eighty three. So the main reason this one's going up is Salt Eye Delirium. This is one of the cards you're going to find in that deck. In Modern, you'll find this in Tron Builds, Legacy, Eldrazi Post. In Commander, the big mana decks have been popular ever since Next Bloom Ancient has come out. And also, there's some Ikoria cards that can cheat cards into play from the top-ish portion of your library. So you'll notice a lot of these big Eldrazi and big creatures have been going up in value recently. Number one is Cyclonic Rift, and this is going up because of Modern. You'll find this in Mono Blue Tron. Nah, just kidding. This is going up because of Commander. It's one of the biggest Commander cards out there. Return to Ravnica goes up $1.94 to $29.97 this week. Modern Masters 2017 goes up $9.82 to $38.99. All right, we'll move on to Modern and find out which Commander cards are going up that are Modern Legal. But first, we have to look at the top five Modern Legal cards that have lost value this week. Coming in at number five is a Commander card. It's Uba Mask going down $0.97 cents to $4.21. This card spiked recently because it combos with a new Ikoria card, Dranith Magistrate. These two cards together lock your opponents out of any cards they draw. But because of the big spike that you did see, you are getting retraction this week. And this tends to happen when a card, especially out of nowhere, goes up in value quickly. A lot of people own these cards in binders, stores have them in inventory and such. And then once they see the card goes up, people go ahead and trade them, put them for sale, and a lot more inventory gets out there quickly. Number four is Send Triplets from Alara Reborn. This goes down 98 cents to 38.97. Fantastic commander card, but it was recently reprinted in foil in those WPN mystery booster boxes. Number three is Magus of the Moon. This is the one from Iconic Masters. It goes down $1.02 to $17.20. And this card actually spiked recently because of modern play. Now you're seeing some retraction. You're going to find four copies of this in the very popular Grill Midrange deck, typically. There's also usually three copies of Clothies God of Destiny there. This also does see play in other modern decks, as well as some legacy decks. And sure, it has seen some increased commander play recently, too, with the two reprintings of Perforos God of the Forge. Another Alara Reborn card comes in here at number two. This is Dragon Broodmother down $1.83 at $13.51. Fine commander card. Even saw a little bit of a price jump when Kaleidoscope Killers came out reprinting the Ur Dragon, but this was recently reprinted in Mystery Boosters. Number one is Angel's Grace from Modern Masters. It goes down $1.83 this week to $13.51. Another card that had spiked recently. You'll find this in Modern Ad Nauseum and other decks in the format. This is also a solid card in Competitive Commander 2. It has seen increased play ever since Thassa's Oracle has been in the format. All right, time for our top five modern legal cards that have gained value this week. Coming in at number five is Crater Hoof Behemoth, Modern Masters 2017, up 207 to 5345. Evison Restored, up 906 to 5326. This can be found in Legacy Elves, but that's not why it's moving. Of course, this is moving because of Commander. Big mana decks, like I said, have been popular. And also, ever since Reese the Redeemed was reprinted in Mystery Boosters, a lot of people have been picking up cards to play around that one, and this is a perfect candidate for that. Number four is Forbidden Orchard. Commander 2016 up $1.49 to 1892. Champions of Kamigawa goes up 930 to 2539. That one actually just spiked. I would expect the commander copy to go up a little more and the champions one to go down a little bit soon, and maybe they'll meet somewhere in the middle-ish. But regardless, this is in vintage oath decks and also sees a ton of commander play. Number three, it's another big Eldrazi. We already talked about these in general. Kozilek Butcher of Truth, Ultimate Masters up 612 to 4799. Modern Masters 2015 up 835 to 4794. Rise of the Eldrazi goes up 1391 to 5138. 
Number two is Ren and Six up 1736 to 7788. And this one is actually moving because of modern, believe it or not. Sees lots of modern play. Two copies in the Grill Midrange deck, typically, again, a very popular deck. Also shows up in Jund and other places. Sees vintage play too. Number one, back to Commander, this time with Blightsteel Colossus going up a whopping $30.86 to $91.99. Wow. So a couple of reasons for this. Like I mentioned, sure, the big mana decks have been popular. Sure, there's ways to cheat this into play from your library like we discussed earlier. But I think what really pushed this over the edge this week was Mutate. This card just is fantastic with Mutate. You could use this as an upgrade to the Commander 2020 Enhanced Evolution deck. Or you could just build your own Mutate deck and include this card either way. There's a lot of people trying to pick this up right now. Welcome to the Vintage Spotlight. This is where we talk about more Commander cards, but we're also going to try to throw in some cards here that see play in Vintage, Legacy, 93, 94, or just popular among collectors. So one thing I want to point out before we get into this section and the next section, which is the actual Commander section, you're seeing a lot of big spikes this week, and you're going to see a whole lot of huge spikes in that Commander section. The main reason for that is because so many of the big sellers are not selling product online right now. Many of them have closed their warehouses. That inventory is just sitting there somewhere. So all of a sudden, there is a vastly decreased supply. And in some cases, cards are just drying up right now. Because the supply is low, if a card gets mentioned in a big video or big article, that alone could cause it to dry up, at least temporarily. Let's see what's going on here. You have Enlightened Tutor, three copies to talk about. Mirage up $1.39 to twenty eight forty nine. dollars Sixth edition goes up two fourteen dollars to twenty nine oh nine. Eternal Masters up nine thirty nine dollars to $48.99. Okay, so this is another great tutor for Commander, but this also does see Legacy play. You'll find this in Painter's Grindstone. Typically, those decks are running three copies of this now. Next is Bayou from Revised on the reserve list. It goes up ten thirty six dollars to two seventy three sixty dollars this week. Mind Twist from Unlimited. You're going to see some Unlimited cards jumping up this week, too. This is one of them that actually went up quite a bit percentage-wise. It goes up 1050 to 7250. Tundra, another revised dual land on the reserve list, goes up 1144 to 257.85. Mana Drain, Legends goes up 540 to 187. Iconic Masters up 1220 to 149.99. This does see a little vintage play, but of course, this is a big commander card. City of Brass, 6th edition, goes up $1.96 to fourteen eighty seven. Arabian Nights up twelve fifty two to three seventy four ninety nine. So this is a huge commander card. It's good with partner commander decks that try to go a little deeper with colors generally. And of course, other decks that are running four or five colors. Modern, this is in some decks, Dredge, and Nauseam, and more. Sees Legacy Dredge play too. Mox Diamond from Stronghold. Now this is on the reserve list, but there was a loophole in that reserve list at one point. And because of that loophole, this card did get a reprinting in foil in front of the Vault Relics. Keep that in mind because we're going to talk about that card later. It goes up 1501 to 291.49 this week. And again, you have yourself another card that is fantastic in Commander, but also does see Legacy play too. Vampiric Tutor, great vintage card, great Commander card, especially for competitive Commander. And I said it last week, these tutors are critical for that environment. If you want to play seriously as a competitive Commander player, you're going to need some tutors like this one. Sixth edition goes up 702 to 8798. Visions goes up 1345 to 98.99. Eternal Masters goes up 1714 to $112. Here's the one everybody was talking about this week. It's Chrome Mox. Eternal Masters up 1197 to 67.60. Meriden goes up 2370 to 79.59. Okay. So earlier in the week, there was a data issue where this card was showing that it cost something like $50,000. I always talk about how card prices can be manipulated online. And that's what happened here. There was a buyout that mirrored inversion disappeared. And then people listed copies at insanely high prices, probably just for laughs. And yeah, it showed up on some of the big websites as being valued at like $50,000. Some people didn't know what to think when they saw that, right? And of course, it caused some confusion. Some people understood what was going on, though, that were more in tune with the market. The folks that watched the market watch, for example. So anyway. The card itself, still a great card. It's fantastic in Commander, especially competitive Commander. Sees Legacy play, too. Survival of the Fittest on the reserve list. This is from Exodus. It did get a reprinting, though, as a Judge Foil before they closed that loophole. It goes up 2385 to 11999 this week. So another big jump here. You'll find this in Vintage Survival decks. And it does see some Commander play, too. It has seen increased Commander play recently with one of the new cards from Commander 2020. That's Taeum Luminous Enigma. Gilded Drake, this is on the reserve list. It goes up 2683 this week to 142.49. A couple weeks of some big increases around this card. 
Again, this is something that you'll find in Legacy frequently in Esper Vile sideboards, but it's also a really good commander card, especially in competitive commander. Now, I said earlier I didn't want to call out every time a card showed up in a video or an article. It would just take too much time. But this card did show up in one of the professor's videos this week. And you have to consider with the big sellers being closed, there weren't a lot of copies out there of this card to begin with. The extra attention on this card meant a lot of the normal price copies got bought up. And what's left on the market are the more expensive copies. That's why you see these jumps. I really do believe once you start getting back to normal at some point and you have these warehouses opening, when your channel fireballs start opening and all that, then these cards are going to start to stabilize back down again, and I think relatively quickly. The problem, though, is in the meantime, there's the fear of missing out. That's going to kick in. People see these prices going up. They get nervous. They start spending more than they normally would on the cards. And if people do that enough, that will actually increase the value of the cards for real. Next, we have another unlimited card that's getting hot this week. It's Force Field on the reserve list. It goes up $30.10 to $280.09. Willow Seder, also on the reserve list, goes up $32.55 this week to $102.50. Grim Monolith, this is on the reserve list too. It goes up $33.75 to $192.52 this week. Another good card drying up in the marketplace. This sees Legacy play and a lot of Commander play. Lion's Eye Diamond on the reserve list goes up 3808 to 24997 this week. Another card jumping quite a bit. This sees Legacy and Vintage play, but it has seen increased Commander play recently because it combos with Wheel of Fortune and Underworld Breach and Thassa's Oracle. Also, some of the new cards have inspired people to pick this up too to some degree, I think. Rael the Everwise and Brawl and Sky Shark Rider both play well with this type of thing. We have another revised dual land here on the reserve list. It's Tropical Island, up $50.83 to $332.49. Eureka, another card on the reserve list, goes up $57.48 to $383.47. Gaia's Cradle from Urza Saga on the reserve list, but dig it a reprinting and foil as a judge promo, again because of the loophole back then. Goes up $60.60 to $416.98. So you'll find this in Legacy Elves and Maverick builds, but again, another great commander card. Very good with Reese the Redeemed, which was recently reprinted in Mystery Boosters. All right, on to the Commander Spotlight. A ton of cards to talk about, very similar to last week, so I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible. Again, I usually like to give you a little more detail about some of these cards, but there's just so many to get through today, so let's get going. Walking Ballista is first, up $1.03 to twenty-eight thirteen, and there's two new cards from Ikoria, Kinnon and Zerda, that both combo with Basalt Monolith to give you unlimited mana, and this is something you can use that unlimited mana on. This has seen increased commander play because of them, but also before that it was seeing increased play with Heliod Sun Crown, which also of course was happening in other formats too. Beyond Commander, this also sees play in Pioneer, Modern, Legacy, and Vintage. Snapcaster Mage from Ultimate Masters up $1.03 to forty three ninety nine. Now you know this one is a Modern, Legacy, and Vintage card, but it has seen more play in Commander recently because of competitive Commander becoming more popular. Anointed Procession goes up $1.06 to $20. So you could use this as an upgrade to the Symbiotic Swarm Commander 2020 deck, or just simply you could throw this in a deck and use it with some of the new cards coming out that create creature tokens. There's a fair amount of them in both Commander 2020 and Ikoria. Archangel of Thune from Magic 2014. It goes up $1.10 to $22. Another card that's seeing more play in Commander because those life gain decks are popular thanks to Heliod and Daxos and some of those other Theros cards. This also sees Pioneer play in Mono White Devotion. Perforos God of the Forge. We saw one going down earlier. This one's going up, the original one from Theros. It goes up $1.12 to twenty one eighty four. Ad nauseum. This goes up $1.14 to $24.03. This has seen increased play with Thassa's Oracle in the format. Also, this does see play in Modern and Legacy. Spellseeker up $1.16 to seventeen fifty seven. Very popular commander card that lets you do a little searching in your deck. Nothing wrong with that. Nexus of Fate can only be found in foil. It goes up $1.16 to $25. Some modern decks will play this in Simic Reclamation and more, but it has seen increased commander play with Calamax the Stormfinder. Starfield of Nyx goes up $1.17 to twelve seventy seven. Not surprisingly, this has seen more commander play since Theros Band Death came out with the enchantment theme, but also in Pioneer, there's a Doom Foretold deck that runs this. Eldrazi Conscription from Rise of the Eldrazi goes up $1.20 to $11.99. Another card that got a little bit of a play boost in commander when Theros Band Death came out. Burgeoning, this is the one from Conspiracy Take the Crown. It goes up $1.26 to $13.46. This sees lots of commander play, especially in those lands builds. Shieldred Whispering One, the one from Iconic Masters. It goes up $1.26 to $21.89. This is another popular commander card, seeing a little more play with cards that populate the graveyard or care about the graveyard from Ikoria. Things like Death's Oasis and Eerie Ultimatum. 
Mox Opal, the one from Scars of Meriden. It goes up $1.27 to $55.15. Legacy, vintage players will want this card, but it's a big commander card. Again, especially in competitive commander. Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker, the one from Mystery Boosters. It goes up $1.28 to $8.51. This sees playing multiple commander decks, but it does have good synergy with some mutate cards. This also sees playing modern and legacy. Necropotence. This one's a huge commander card. Sees vintage play. Ice Age goes up $1.25 to $21.21. Eternal Master is up $1.32 to $21. Orem's Chant. This goes up $1.34 to $13.59. This is a card to watch. I can see this one drying up in the marketplace quickly. It does see a little commander play. In Legacy, you'll find this in Bant Zenith Oko. Ugin the Spirit Dragon up $1.46 to $64.24. This continues to bounce back after it did lose some value, at least temporarily. Mono Green Ramp, Lotus Breach, they both play this in Pioneer. Modern, you'll find this in Tron, Legacy Post Builds. Sometimes Painter's Grindstone even will run this. But of course, you know, this is a huge Commander card too. Basalt Monolith, this is the one from Commander 2015. This is the only one still going up at least semi-significantly. All the others have started to stabilize. But as you know, these got hot because of two cards from Ikoria, both Kinnon and Zerda. This copy goes up $1.47 this week to $6.95. Harold's Horn goes up $1.48 to $10.17. This is the one for Mystery Boosters. Fantastic for Tribal Commander decks. Another big Eldrazi here. We've already talked about why they've been hot in Commander. Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger goes up $1.48 to $41.37. This does show up in other places though too. Pioneer, Mono Green Walkers, and more. Modern Tron sees Legacy play as well. Cursed Totem. This is the one for Mirage. It goes up $1.53 to $14. Acorn Catapult. This goes up $1.54 to $5.59. Sure, this is a great casual card for squirrel builds, but this is also a really easy way to create a whole bunch of small creature tokens, which some commander decks could be interested in. Power Artifact. Classic commander card on the reserve list. It goes up $1.54 to $152.12. Kalia of the Vast. This is the one from Commander. It goes up $1.55 to $34.54. This has seen increased commander play with the Ur-Dragon reprint and Kaleidoscope Killers recently. Omniscience. Magic 2013 goes up $1.31 to $13.99. Magic 2019 goes up $1.58 to $11.84. And again, you have yourself another card that is fantastic in Commander, but I think Legacy is pushing this one more than anything right now. This is an Omnitel and Sneak and Show builds, which have been pretty popular in Magic Online recently. Swan Song, the one from Commander 2016. It goes up $161 to $8.31. Highly, highly played Commander card. Consecrated Sphinx. This is the one from Iconic Masters up $1.62 to $24.16. Very big commander card. Also remember the Locust God just got reprinted in the Timeless Wisdom Commander 2020 deck recently. Those two cards play well together. Also there's a new card from that deck, Shabra's the Sky Shark, which plays well with this too. Cloudstone Curio. Really good commander card here. Goes up $1.79 to $38.72. Combos with a lot of things. Many folks play this currently with Dockside Extortionist. Sword of Truth and Justice up $1.87 to $14.74. Ikoria and Commander 2020 both have a number of cards that care about counters and are pushing that strategy a little bit in Commander. Cards like Kazura Ruthless Stalker, Ukima Stalking Shadow, and Kelsey and the Plague, for example. Exploration from Conspiracy goes up $1.96 to $34.76. Another big card, especially in lands builds in Commander. Sees Legacy play, though, too. Dark Coffinot from Modern Masters 2015 up $1.96 to $46.99. You'll find this in Modern Legacy and Vintage builds, of course. But this is more and more of a commander card now, especially because of competitive commander. Micaeus the Unhallowed from Ultimate Masters goes up $1.97 to $32.63. This has seen some increased commander play with Fiend Artisan coming. Scytherix the Blight Dragon up $201 to $44.49. Another card that got a little boost because of the Ur Dragon reprint not too long ago. But really, this is moving now because of Mutate. This is a fantastic Mutate target. Phyrexian Altar, the one from Invasion this week. This goes up $202 to $31.95. This has been hot recently because of the combo between Luminous Broodmoth and Solemnity and Commander. Mystical Tutor, sure this sees playing vintage, but really again this is moving because of Commander. Mirage goes up $1.07 to $12.91, 6th edition up $1.27 to 1438. Signature Spellbook J sub 205 to 1639. Jin Gitaxius Core Augur. This is the one from Iconic Masters. And honestly, this one's moving for all the same reasons Consecrated Sphinx is moving. It goes up 207 to 1386. Intuition, another card on the reserve list, but did get printed as a Judge Foil. It goes up 215 to 5119. This is good with the new Ikoria card, Eerie Ultimatum. Also, this sees Legacy play in Omnitel and Sneak and Show builds. Land Tax, one of the biggest white commander cards out there. Battle Bond goes up this week, $1.31 to $35.21. Legends up $227 to $49.35. 
Mystic Study from Mystery Booster is another card that sees a ton of commander play. It goes up 233 to 2290. Yagmas Whale on the reserve list. This is the one from Urza Saga, but it did get a Judge Promo Foil printing too. This goes up 246 to 7918. Of course, this sees vintage play, but also sees solid commander play, especially in those Carrick Son of Yagmoth builds. Norwood Priestess. This goes up 250 to 3673. This does see some commander play in like big mana green creature decks. However, this is probably moving more so because it's a portal second age card. And these are getting harder and harder to find in good condition. Protean Hawk, this is the one from the Ravnica Allegiance Gruel Guild Kit. It goes up $2.59 to $11.99. So even though Flash was banned in Commander, the Sushi Hulk deck is still kicking around and still is going to be quite good, I think. And because of that, this particular copy of the card, which is harder to find than the others, is going up this week. Vidalkin Orrery, another highly, highly played Commander card. Fifth Dawn goes up $2.72 to $33.58. Conspiracy up 286 to 3371. Vorinclax Voice of Hunger. Now this has seen some increased commander play because of these big mana decks floating around, but just in general, it's a good card. Iconic Masters goes up $1.05 to 2438. New Phyrexia up 290 to 2499. Sword of Feast and Famine, the one from the modern event deck, so a little harder to find. It goes up 296 to 6414. Highly, highly played sword in commander. Also sees some play in modern, sometimes with Stone Forge Mystic. Mana Echoes, great in tribal commander builds. You see this a lot of times with Slivers. It goes up $3 to $34.99. Skullbriar, the Walking Grave, the one from Commander Anthology Volume 2. It goes up $307 to $20. So this card has been hot for a number of weeks now because there are cards coming from Ikoria and Commander 2020 that create different types of counters. You have the Flying Counters and the Hexproof Counters, so on and so forth. Also, you have a lot of cards that just create plus one, plus one counters. This would be a good upgrade for the Symbiotic Swarm deck. It's going to play well with Cathril Aspect Warper. Force of Negation goes up 319 to 3869. Another card you might think, okay, this is a good modern card. I see it in Bant Snowblade and other decks there. Sees Legacy and Vintage play even. But again, with Competitive Commander becoming more popular, this is starting to feel more and more like a Commander card. Mana Crypt, the one from Mystery Boosters, goes up 388 to 15014 as it tries to find its price point. Obviously sees a lot of commander play, especially in competitive decks. Also sees a lot of vintage play. Staff of Domination from 5th Dawn goes up 405 to 4126. So we were talking earlier about endless mana loops. Well, here's something that you can use that mana on. Or sometimes this card will help you create those loops. It has seen increased play since Nyx Bloom Ancient has been around. Sliver Queen on the reserve list. Of course, perfect for Sliver Commander decks. It goes up 414 to 11238. Transmute Artifact, also on the reserve list, goes up 418 to 15907. This is a classic commander card used in a lot of builds, especially competitive ones. Winds of Change. Now, last week the 5th edition one was spiking. Now the others are going up. Legends goes up $1.64 to 1937. Portal up 418 to 2251. 4th edition up 427 to 1210. Also, this one's moving because of the reasons I mentioned with Consecrated Sphinx going up. This is also good with Zira's The Writhing Storm 2 from the Arcane Maelstrom deck. Mishra's Bobble is next. Three copies to talk about. Cold Snap goes up 298 to 1492. Iconic Masters up 362 to 1399. Mystery Booster up 452 to 1514. Okay, so we talked a lot about this card last week. Obviously, there's a new card that's driving this. That card is Loris of the Dream Den from Ikoria, one of the new companion cards. And companions in general have gotten people a little nervous because of the power level. This one in particular is crazy, though, when comboed with Mishra's Bobble. Basically, if you have Lurus in play, the Bobble can go to the graveyard. You can play it again once per turn. It's an engine that a lot of different decks are just shoehorning in, anything from a burn deck to a lot of other different builds. And not just in Modern, either. It's showing up sometimes in Legacy now, and definitely Commander. I'm sure we'll see a lot of it. Some folks have speculated that one of these two cards will get banned, at least in Modern. Maybe that will happen, but right now, this card is super hot. Next, we have Sensei's Divining Top, the one from Champions of Kamigawa. It goes up 462 to 4199. Sees Vintage play, but it's a huge Commander card. Like I said earlier, there are cards that care about what's on top or what's near the top of your library that are coming out. So this card is perfect with those. Cavern of Souls still sees a ton of play in Modern Humans, Aldrazi Tron, Amulet Titan, and more. Legacy and Commander, you'll see this card a lot too. Ultimate Masters goes up 217 to 5927. Avacyn Restored up 221 to 5699. Modern Masters 2017 up 478 to $60.08.
Earthcraft. This one's on the reserve list. It goes up 514 to $60.50. And this has seen some increased play with Rees the Redeem being reprinted in Mystery Boosters. Doubling Season. Of course, this was already a big Commander card, but a couple things are pushing it. Again, Rees the Redeem. This is a good card to play with that one. But also, Ikoria and Commander 2020 are giving us a lot of cards that care about or create plus one plus one counters and create creature tokens. So this just gets better. Modern Masters goes up 254 to 6126. Ravnica City of Guilds up 305 to 5911. And Battle Bond goes up 524 to 5999. Force of Will. This is the one from Eternal Masters of 535 to 11658. It sees vintage play, it sees legacy play, and it sees a lot of commander play. Exquisite Blood. This goes up 552 to 4148. You'll find this comboing in Commander a lot of times with Sanguine Bond. Urza Lord High Artificer. Now, you know this is a good modern card. It's in various Urza builds, obviously. Also see some Legacy and Vintage play too, but don't forget this is a huge Commander card as well, and did see increased play really ever since Emery Lurker of the Lock came out. It goes up 556 to 4351 this week. Sylvan Library, this sees extensive legacy and some vintage play, but it's also a huge commander card. Eternal Masters up $1.34 to $45.50. Fifth edition up $1.97 to $40.49. Fourth edition up $4.24 to $40.99. And Legends goes up $5.80 to $107.14. Ancient Tomb, you see this in legacy, you see it in vintage, but you probably see it the most in commander. Ultimate Masters goes up $3.29 to $34.98. Tempest goes up 582 to 3757. We got another tutor here. Sees vintage play, tons of commander play. It's Demonic Tutor. Mystery Booster up 223 to 3274. Ultimate Masters up 224 to 3675. Dual Dex Anthology up 239 to 3497. Dual Dex Divine vs. Demonic up 347 to 3283. And Unlimited goes up 588 to 7199. Edgar Markov, only found in foil. It goes up 665 to 2461 this week. Very popular vampire commander. Avison Angel of Hope. Avison Restored goes up 341 to 4850. Iconic Masters up 698 to 45 dollars. Now this is already a great commander card, but it is getting pushed a little bit by a new card too. Catherell Aspect Warper from the Symbiotic Swarm Commander 2020 deck. Mana Vault again, another card that you see in vintage, but it's a huge commander card. 4th edition up 243 to 3293. 5th edition goes up 273 to 3355. Unlimited goes up 706 to 13107. Ultimate Masters up 710 to 5999. Pact of Negation, good modern card. It's an Amulet Titan and more there. But Competitive Commander is kind of taking this one on too, making it one of its own. Masters 25 goes up 171 to $25. Modern Masters up 287 to 2734. Future Sight goes up 734 this week to 3254. Ulamog the Infinite Gyre. Just this one copy going up more than a dollar this time at least. This is the one from Ultimate Masters. It goes up 790 to 3999 for a lot of the reasons we've already discussed when it comes to these Aldrazi. Krom Ludvig's Opus goes up 888 to $13. This can only be found in foil and it is seeing a little more commander play now with Zeriz the Writhing Storm. Tainted Pact. We haven't seen this one in a few weeks. It goes up 918 to 4997 though, and this has seen increased commander play since Thassa's Oracle came out. Worldly Tutor. This one has been hot. Another tutor that of course a lot of people are picking up for commander. I really think this one's going to get reprinted though sooner than later. Mirage goes up 871 to 3166 this week, and 6th edition goes up 925 to 3687. Sylvan Tutor. Another tutor here for commander. It goes up 1483 to 7559. Copy Artifact. This one's on the reserve list, and I think this one has been a little bit undervalued for a while. It is a great commander card. Unlimited goes up 631 to 8180. Revised goes up 1694 to 4721. Wheel of Fortune from Revised. This is on the reserve list, but did get reprinted as a judge promo. It goes up 1773 to $188. Now, this has seen some increased commander play with Underworld Breach and Thassa's Oracle. And now there's new cards also pushing this a little bit in commander, things like Rael the Everwise. Zebra is the Writhing Storm, Brawlin Sky Shark Rider, and Shabra's the Sky Shark. All right, on to the Pauper Spotlight. Now, all the cards in this section this week are Mystery Booster cards, which really makes me think they're just trying to find their price points more than anything. But let's take a look. You have Great Furnace for Mystery Boosters. It goes up 10 cents to 49 cents. You're going to find this in Teamer Affinity, Mardu Aggro. This also does see Legacy Play too. 
Okiba Gang Shinobi for Mystery Boosters, up 10 cents to 64 cents. You'll find this in Mono Black Control, Mardu Aggro, and more in the format. This also is a good commander card, and some of the cards that it plays well with were reprinted recently too. Yuriko the Tiger Shadow is also in Mystery Boosters, and Maronar got reprinted in foil in two places, Mystery Boosters for the WPN product, and also in the Year of the Rat Secret Lair. Bajukabog, this goes up 18 cents to 150, of course, again from Mystery Boosters. This does see some popper play, also sees play in Modern Legacy and Vintage too, though. Priest of Titania for Mystery Boosters at 42 cents to 325. You'll find this in Elves decks in the format. Also, this is another big commander card and plays well with Reese the Redeemed for Mystery Boosters. All right, on to the premium spotlight. As I say every week, I don't like to spend too much time talking about rare cards. When it comes to online pricing, sometimes they're just not accurate, and sometimes those prices can be manipulated. But every week, I try to find a few cards that feel like they're moving somewhat naturally. It was a little harder this week and last week. There's a lot of things that are just buyouts out there that are spiking wildly. So the cards I pick maybe somewhat are still a buyout because, again, you don't have that inventory from those big sellers out there. But they at least were moving in a normal pattern. Yeah, Blightsteel Colossus, the foil copy of this goes up $17.11 to $149.99. Mox Diamond, this is that one I mentioned earlier from From the Vault Relics. It goes up $26.40 this week to $335.99. Tainted Pack, the foil version, goes up $28.80 to $198. And Ad Nauseam, the foil, goes up $39.70 to $101.99. All right, we got there. So thanks for sticking with me. Another really big episode. I don't know exactly. I guess no one knows when things are going to get moving again and you might have big sellers selling product again online. When you do, you're going to see a lot of price drops, so just be ready for that. You're going to have a lot of inventory coming in quickly. Maybe they won't go all the way back down to where they were. Some of these sellers might say, you know what, people are buying these cards at a higher price. I'm going to try to sell them, at least in the short term, at a slightly higher price. But ultimately, prices are going to settle back down. So it's just going to take a little time. Try not to get caught up too much in the fear of missing out. I mean, it's difficult because it is hard to predict exactly what every single card is going to do in the future. But you don't want to ever buy with emotions, so just remember that. Until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page, as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.